There's only one. Yeah. Okay. Such a meeting. Did I get the town clerk to read the items on the consent agenda? Uh, letter A, Board of Aldermen's meeting minutes, September 7th, 2021, the agenda session minutes, September 14th, 2021, the regular meeting minutes. Letter B, October as National Community Planning Month. Letter C, October as Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Letter D, October as Domestic Violence Awareness Month. And letter E, November as Family Court Awareness Month. Do we have a motion to approve the items on the consent agenda? I'll make that motion. Do we have a second? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 The items on the consent agenda are approved. Public comments. Are there any citizens in house or online who would like to make <laughs> any comments to this board about their wishes or concerns for the town? Hearing none, we'll close the public comment section. New business, major development plan for the baseball clubhouse submitted on behalf of the university. Is anybody here representing the university? Ms. Oda, you this? Uh, just briefly, uh, Mayor, this, uh, we discussed this at last week's meeting. Uh, since that time, the TRC has given approval to the plans and uh, we are asking for the board to vote for um, approval or denial of the project. The planning board has recommended approval by unanimous vote. Do we have a motion to approve the plan, the baseball plan? I'll make the motion. Do we have a second? I'll second. Any discussion? Hearing none, we'll call for the vote. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Report, town manager. Uh, good evening, everybody. I just want to remind for folks to take a look at the calendar page on our website for a complete listing of uh, upcoming activities. But I did want to highlight a couple. Uh, this Friday night, our music to dine to under the tent on West College. Uh, this week's artist is uh, Gray Matter. They're providing acoustic <laughs> tunes with big harmonies along with a dash of rock and roll and a myriad of instruments. Next Friday, the 22nd, is Kevin Harden. He'll be on the plaza. And the last event of the season is on October 29th, and this was the one that was rained out last week. And that will be Paloma Detloff and her jam band with uh, their, jazz, their jazz music. Saturday, from 8 to noon at the Holly Hill Mall is our Household Hazardous Waste Collection event. Uh, for residents to bring uh, material down. No commercial or, or business waste, strictly residential. And it's a, a wide range of items, paints and solvents, cleaners, that kind of thing. And I will not bring up my last one because I suspect Alderwoman Sharp will be bringing this one up. Uh, community cleanup on Saturday. Yeah, sure. <laughs> since, since it's reference to you. <laughs> um, but I will cede a couple of minutes uh, to our police chief, uh, Kelly Blackwelder, who's here this evening with uh, Kedrick King. I won't even say who you are. <laughs> so uh, I'll be brief. Um, with the promotion of Lyle Animal as our patrol lieutenant, that left us a vacancy. Uh, our team got together and we developed a pretty rigorous promotional assessment center that included uh, uh, an in-basket exercise highlighting administrative tasks and we interrupted them constantly with bogus emails to divide their attention like so often happens to us. Um, we had a role-playing exercise that demonstrated leadership and their effective communication skills. We had another exercise that um, put them in a position to change policy and do a presentation. Again, just highlighting their critical thinking, decision-making and, and some of their creativity. Our final task um, was an active incident where we set up a mock, uh, we'll call it a critical incident of something that could possibly happen here in Elon. Uh, the, the candidates had to get together or independently coordinate and orchestrate how they would um, oversee this as a patrol commander. We had four potential candidates, all of which are sergeants, Dietra Grave, um, Dietra Graves, uh, DeMario, Chavis, Robert Lovett and Kendrick King. 
And he's standing here today because he was promoted today to patrol lieutenant. Wow. Very proud of Kedrick. He's been with us for how many years? Four. Four years. He acted as a sergeant for Elon University. He's devoted to his self-development. He's gone back and got his master's degree. Um, he's constantly wanting to learn. He comes before us wanting, uh, he, he shadowed with our detective trying to learn how to work criminal investigations. Um, he's really shown a lot of leadership and he and I have, I think, very um, similar leadership style. So I'm excited to plug him in. I know Lyle was dying to delegate some tasks to him, but uh, I just appreciate you and I, I thank you. So I, I'm very proud of him and just wanted you guys to know what he's done. And I will say Jeff Stein has joined us online and I, I he was uh, being here to give a pre, pre, uh, report back from the university. So if you want to talk to him now or later or or not at all, because sometimes we don't want to talk to him. So, <laughs> Stan, you have any remarks? I just don't want to talk to Rich. That's all. <laughs> uh, no, um, I noticed that Brad was on the call uh, in case you had questions for the vote, but the vote has passed because the mayor uh, keeps things rolling. So that was that was good. Uh, we appreciated having a number of member number of the uh, board members at the recent. Uh, president's community update at that time uh, we released the uh, economic impact study we just did so you heard about 700 million in overall economic activity in north carolina for fiscal year 2020 as well as 215 uh, sorry as well as 7400 jobs and 35 million dollars in uh, revenue to the state and county uh, as well as uh, listed in that report were uh, items about the impact on Alamance County uh, of the university. But uh, hopefully uh, you also got to hear about some of the great programs, including local uh, interns paid by the university and things like that um, in ways that, you know, I think she highlighted directly the work that the university and the town are doing to think about uh, how we can work better together. I will tell you on a separate note, uh, COVID cases obviously on campus flattening out and we're continuing to see positive trends there. Uh, in addition, we've got fall break coming up this weekend and then you will see additional uh, guests in town in early November for homecoming. So hopefully we'll see some boosts uh, at local uh, businesses during that time frame. And I'm certainly happy to take any questions that you might have. Any question or comment from board members? I thank you for inviting us to attend the, the breakfast. I thought it was very informative and was well represented by our board. Glad you were there. Jeff, will you be joining us on Saturday for community cleanup? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Unfortunately, I'm going to be in Colorado. It is fall break and I have uh, aging parents that I haven't seen in a while, but otherwise I would be there and I appreciate the, uh, the outreach and the work you're doing, Emily, to get those scheduled. I'll be sure you get the next invite. <laughs> I bet you will. <laughs> Happy to help. Brad is a good soul to participate as well. I'll, I'll send it to everybody. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. Comment from board members, Mr. Green? Uh, yes, congratulations to Kedrick. Um, sounds like he was uh, deserves that promotion, and I'm glad that the police department and, and other departments are showing, coming to us and kind of letting us know what's going on with promotions and and just what's going on in the department. So I think that's really nice and good to recognize him as well. So congratulations to him. Thank you, Mr. Ray. Uh, I want to echo, you know, congratulations to uh, Mr. King. He was one of the first officers uh, when he first came in to uh, 
really him and I kind of got a little relationship going. And so I really appreciate uh, what he does. And I think this is well deserving for him. Um, also want to thank our fire department. So uh, over the weekend, you know, house right near me on uh, Westgate uh, called, called fire. Um, our fire department uh, acted swiftly. We were able to put it out. Nobody was hurt. So it was really awesome just to see them in action, uh, making it uh, so no other neighbors houses were affected. It was really nice to, to see that. And other than that, you know, I hope everybody comes downtown. We got uh, the community cleanup. We have trunk or treat happening. And then we have some fun uh, activities on the, on Friday. I can just follow up on, on uh, Alderman Ray's report on the fire. Uh, the first person was actually on the scene was one of our volunteers. And we had six volunteers show up for that fire. And uh, as, as the crews on the truck showed up, they found this, this volunteer in his early to mid seventies with a garden hose, um, got there and started putting water on it. Um, so they really, they had it knocked down in about 20 minutes and it was a, 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 a tricky situation with the way the house was laid out and how the attic has been divvied up. So it was a, a, it was a very tricky fire to get it, get to and they got to it extremely fast, so. Okay. Mr. Allison? Yes, um, yeah, congratulations to Lieutenant uh, King. I think that's a, it's a great testament to see people being promoted within the department. I think it's always encouraging that there's a pathway to, uh, to, to move up. So um, I'm glad to see that. Um, another thing I want to mention is, and you probably have seen this, he's a citizen in our town. He runs all the time. You see him around. If you haven't, um, he participated yesterday in the Boston Marathon, the 125th Marathon. And uh, I've known him for, for quite a bit. He's a, a teacher at Western Alamance. He, uh, he's a scout leader. He's a member of the community church here. But he ran the Boston Marathon um, Monday. He had a personal, personal best. He ran it two hours and 49 minutes. That's, now, that's something I'll never do. I'm sure none of us will ever do that. Um, but you know, if you see somebody who's, who's committed, um, he's one of the reasons my daughter took up running. She ran the Boston Marathon actually in 2017 with him. So just like to congratulations to Steven Stiegel. Um, he's a he's a great, great citizen, great member of our community. And uh, he, he gives so much to so many. So uh, if you see him out running, don't stop him because he's on a run. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Ms. Yark? Um, just a reminder that it's time to get your flu shot if you engage in that every year. Um, also, community cleanup is this Saturday. We will start at nine o'clock. We did transition that from, um, it was originally scheduled for the 23rd, but we bumped it up um, since Twin Lakes is hosting a campaign event um, on the 23rd. And um, also with just knowing that the students would be gone, we thought what a good opportunity to get out there and get things cleaned up while they are out of town. Um, and, I also saw in here that we will be highlighted in the R State magazine. So um, make sure you pick up a copy of the November issue because the downtown area is going to be highlighted. So I think that will be really good PR for the town. And hope you show up and vote on November 2nd. I do, I do. So there are two people running for alderman. So Stephanie Borland and Randy Orwig and two people running for mayor. That's Michael Woods and Emily Sharp. Would you like to ask for our votes? You got mine for sure. I might personally ask you. For okay. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Montgomery. Yes, sir. Uh, thank you, Mayor. I, I was just trying to do the mental math on the marathon. I mean, that's 13 miles. He averaged, yeah. averaged six point um, two miles every 10 minutes. He averaged right? uh, 6.3 um, minutes a mile. Yeah. He finished, he finished yeah. out of 15,374, he finished 710. So two, 26 miles, two hours, 13. If, you know, a treadmill sometimes. I don't think any of you could ride your bike that. Well, 13 miles an hour. I'm sitting there telling yeah. you, I don't know how in the world people can do that for 26 miles. But yeah. 
give me a week or two. And, right? <laughs> <laughs> and still won't be able to do it. We'll start training in mid-November. Yeah, I'll drink that gallon of water while I'm doing it. <laughs> uh, just a, a couple of things. I, I saw one here from Economic Development. Um, just a reminder, Mac Williams retires. He, they've named his replacement, uh, Andrew, and I cannot remember Andrew's last name. Andrew. Reagan. Okay, Reagan Andrea Reagan. 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 Reagan Garol has taken over directorship. Andrea Fleming is a new economic director. So a, a, a lady who's been working with Mac for a lot of years and has some good knowledge and would be good to make contact with and just kind of walk through Elon and tell us what she's got to think. She's a, she's a good person. I saw on here the reference to social districts being approved by the, what is a social district? Being approved by the General Assembly? Assembly and reviewed as a potential. I think that's where you can have alcohol in the square. So and Kathleen on the chair. No. Okay. Well, it's just a, just a, I just saw it. Uh, Rich, you can give back to us or something with it. I just was curious what a social district might be. I, I think that's correct because I know that they've, they've been debating that issue about whether to allow expansion of outside alcohol. Okay. Okay. Um, now, it'd be interesting to kind of see what that all that entails. Um, talks on here about marking your calendar for December the 4th for the downtown Santa Fun Fest. Um, that should be a great event. It, we're going to try to expand it this year, as you heard me say last week. Unfortunately, I just realized I will not be here that weekend, so it'll probably go a lot better than it ever has in the past. So who's going to be the snowball catcher? Yeah, or the dunk tank person. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. I, you know, Jesus. I, you know, Matt, I can't think of anybody right off my right off the bat, but you know, maybe a newly elected official or a recent or member. one that's going to retire. Or recently, go out with a bang or a I'll flash. Be like yeah, I'll so be out. I could see Mr. Tully. Yeah. Uh, the other things here, just the, the the shout outs to our police department were just really great. Uh, seeing what some of those folks do, picking up trash. Uh, trying to help a lady who <clears throat> maybe broken down or needed some assistance, following her home. Um, you know, for those of us that that work in and around big cities, you just won't, you just won't see that. I don't think, I just don't think you're going to see that. So this, these are just some great shout outs to those folks for the, the work they do for our town every single day. So that's all for me. Thank you. Appreciate all the comments from board members. Mayor has no comment. Do we have a motion to adjourn? I'll make the motion, Mayor. Do we have a second? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Who stands adjourned? It's my water, Quinn. Good. Boom. So, boom. <laughs>